We will be demonstrating the steps to follow for replacing a carefree manual spring assembly and arm with a Solera Classic spring assembly and arm. The following tools are required for installation. Non-permanent marker, Phillips bit, number two square head bit, 3 8 inch socket, an additional person to assist with installation. First, locate the roll-in, roll-out lever on the roll tube. This is important to locate and mark so that after replacing the assembly, this lever is in a convenient position and ensures that every time this awning rolls up, this lever is easy to access. Mark this location on the roll tube. If this is a remote lock, the cam lock lever may be on the back side of the roll tube. If so, mark the spot on the front side for easy access to the new cam lever. Before rolling the awning out, release the travel lock on the awning arm by pushing up on this lever. Release the cam lock above, then roll the awning out to its full extended position. Next, on the idler leg, locate a small hole. Push a cotter pin through this hole. This ensures that the tension on the roll tube will always be locked during the installation. Some drive heads don't have a hole for the cotter pin. If yours doesn't, it is important to make sure that the cam lock is always in the rollout position until you are ready to release the awning tension. At the idler end, loosen the black knob on the awning arm and slide the arm all the way up, pulling it down so the fabric is taut and the brace locks into position, and re-tighten the knob. Move the assist on the cam lock off of its pin, making sure that the cam lock remains in the open position. By confirming the cam lock in the open position, the awning will not close up as you work on it. Release the arm brace and move it down out of the way. With an assistant holding the roll tube, remove the screw holding the end cap to the awning arm. Lift the end cap off of the awning arm and move the arm to its travel position and lock it in place with the travel lock. To release the roll tube tension, with an assistant holding the roll tube, firmly grasp the end cap with your hands or a pair of vice grips. Next, move the cam lock from the open to the closed position. Slowly allow the tension to be released as the end cap rotates in your hands, ensuring that all tension has been released. Next, with a number two square head bit, remove the screws holding the end cap to the roll tube. Then remove the spring assembly from the roll tube. Now, insert the new spring assembly into the roll tube. Make sure that you align the new spring assembly cam lock lever with the mark you placed on the roll tube earlier. Make sure that the end cap is pushed all the way on. Now, using either screws or rivets, which are both included in the kit, attach the new end cap to the roll tube, in this case, the screws. Make sure that you cannot see any daylight between the end cap and the roll tube. Next, add tension back into the roll tube by turning the end cap in a counterclockwise rotation. If it does not turn, flip the cam lock to the other position. This awning will take 13 rotations because the awning is in the open or extended position. The number of rotations are determined by the size of your awning. Once you have placed the correct number of rotations on the roll tube, put the cotter pin back into the hole for safety, if your drive head has a hole for a cotter pin. Next, unlock the travel lock on the awning arm and extend it out. Then put the end cap temporarily onto the awning arm. Do the same at the idler end of the awning. With your assistant holding the roll tube, since we don't have a screw attaching the end cap to the awning arm, remove the screws from the top of the awning arm on the unit. Lay the awning arm into the upper brace and lock it into place with the travel lock. Release the bottom of the awning arm from the foot on the unit and slide the entire arm out of the end cap. Now remove the existing foot from the unit and using the existing holes, replace with the new foot using a 3 8 inch socket. Now slide the new awning leg into the foot. Make sure the tension knob is loose and slide the awning arm out to the correct position to fit into the end cap. Slide the arm end into the end cap, aligning the holes, and secure using a Phillips bit and screw provided in your kit. Next, secure the top of the awning arm to the channel using lag screws provided in the kit. Extend the awning arm out to the roll tube and tighten the tension knob. You can now go to the idler end of the awning and repeat the steps to remove the end cap, spring assembly, and awning arm and replace with new hardware. Please note, the idler end does not have a cam lock, so all of the tension in the awning is on the cotter pin. Make sure that you have a firm grip on the awning head and roll tube before releasing the pin. 
Note when working on the idler end to ensure that the end cap awning arm ends up at the same angle as the drive end. Align the plug to the same position of the cam lock at the drive end. This will ensure that the awning arms end up at the same angle on both ends of the awning. After the new hardware has been installed at the idler end, pull the cotter pins out of both ends of the awning in order to operate the awning after installation is complete. Finally, with both arms replaced, you will need to install a stop bolt. To do so, adjust the height of your roll tube to the rail channel at the top of the unit. Try to position the center of the roll tube as close to the center of the awning rail as possible. You may move the awning up or down by releasing this lever and manually moving the awning up or down to the best position. Release the lever and the arm will lock into place. Identify and mark the nearest hole with a pencil or non-permanent marker. Extend the awning out about a foot. Extend the awning arm up to allow access to the hole marked for the stop bolt. Insert the provided bolt and attach a star washer and acorn nut to it and tighten. With the stop bolt installed, the awning arm will always stop at this point to ensure consistent stowing in the travel position. If you have any questions about the installation process, please call 574-537-8900 for more assistance. Thanks for watching.